Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss the problem C equal frequencies from code process around 844. That was rated for div 1 as well as div 2. So the problem states that let's call a string balanced if all the characters that are present in it appear the same number of time. For example, coder is balanced, right? Because uh, the number of characters that appear, the number of unique characters or the number uh, the frequency of unique characters is exactly same. So C appears one time, O appears one time. D appears one time, so does E, so does R, right? However, in case of this particular string, it's unbalanced because W occurs one, two, three, four times and O occurs only two times. So this is unbalanced. Code force is also unbalanced because O occurs two times and F occurs one time, so on. So we are given a string S of length N consisting of lowercase English letter. Find a balanced string, string P of the same length N consisting of lowercase English letters that is different from the string S in a few in few positions as possible so even if the string s is uh, balanced we can return it as well okay so in other words the number of indices i such that si is not equal to uh, ti should be as small so finally what we have to return is that we have to return a string that is balanced and also return the uh, number of indices in at which it is different from the original string so yeah that's it for the question uh, this is not a hard question, but it's an implementation based question. Even I tried it uh, during the contest. The uh, like the issue I was getting was a, either a runtime error or when I was uh, like making some changes onto that, I was getting a time, ex time limit exceeded. The problem was I was not uh, like using a certain conditional. So in this video, I'm going to talk in detail about everything you need to know for this problem and how to code it up. So let's get started. So they'll be giving us a string. Let me change the color. So they are giving us a string, right? So this string would have many, many characters. Let's say the string is something they have already told us. So the string over here was hello, right? So let's talk about hello only. So H E double L O. So now we firstly we'll notice the number of uh, number of uh, or the frequency of each character. So over here frequency of L is two, E is one, O is one, H is also one, right? Now what we can do is that we know that if we want to minimize the number of changes then <coughs> then uh, the string that is or the no, uh, character that is occurring most number of times we want to minimize the changes onto that for example if i want to remove l altogether from the from the string then i have to change two occurrences right because l is occurring two number of times however if i want to remove e from the string i will only have to change one, one occurrences so i can uh, uh, try it with a greedy approach that i'll firstly sort the string based on the occurrences of characters right so that that is one thing i can do so the first uh, first intuition is pretty clear oh, now what's the second intuition the second intuition is that each number of characters would appear a unique number of times uh, so each unique character would appear the same number of times right and how many unique characters can be there in the english alphabet or the lower alphabets they can be 26 characters in total right so i can try for each of them because 26 is actually a small number so i can brute force it up so I can say that my unique characters could be from uh, 1 to 26, right? And when I'm doing this, I'll also check that uh, if number of unique characters or n modulo number of unique characters, unique cats, is not equal to 0. That means there would be some character that would be uh, left with a frequency, uh, frequency not equal to this, uh, the frequency of other elements. So in that case, I cannot proceed with this uh, this set of unique characters. Otherwise, if it's equal to zero, if it satisfies, then what I can do? Then in that case, I would say that I would arrange the characters, or I would arrange the unique characters. So over here, if I talk about the unique characters, then the unique characters I am having are these, right? Now let 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 me arrange them by frequency count. So I'll arrange them as L because L was happening uh, two number of times. So it's, a, it's in descending order. Then I can arrange any of them. So I can say EOH. The, the, uh, the arrangement for the uh, characters with same frequency won't matter. So EOH would be same as OEH or HEO, anything, right? Cool enough. So after that, we'll say that uh, since we need, so over here, let's call this unique characters as U cars or U C H R, whatever you want to call it. So we'll say that uh, since 
we wanted only UCAS number of unique characters. Let's say UCAS is this, right? Over here we are having L U H, right? So we'll say that we only want two characters in total, right? However, over here we are having two extra characters. So with these two characters, we'll have to make their frequencies equal to zero, right? And for these two characters, I'll have to make them frequency equal to per length. I'm just giving an example. Uh, unique characters equal to two won't actually uh, won't be actually valid for this. For this example, unique characters equal to one would only be valid. Cool. So let's proceed ahead. So then what I can say? So I'll be doing this particular thing or this particular check for all all the possible possibilities of unique characters from one to twenty six. At the end, I'll uh, and at the end, I also would be saving the differences. So let's just try to take an example for this, so that it makes more sense. And let's try to take this particular example and take uh, unique characters as one. So if my unique characters is one, right, and the number of characters I was having from hello was mm, L firstly, right, then O E H. Let's say. After that, I can append all the English characters. Their frequency is actually zero, so I can say A, B, C, anything, right? Up to so on to Z. Cool. Now I'll say that the number of unique characters I actually want is one, right? Or unique characters actually want is five. So I want in total five unique characters. So I want five unique characters. So this is the first five characters. I'll take these. Now, what should be the frequencies of all the unique characters? Now, the frequency of all unique characters should be n divided by unique characters, right? So that is equal to n is five over here. Hello has five words. That is equal to one. Now, I'll say I have, I need to have one frequency of all these unique characters. Cool. But what is the current frequency of all of these characters for L, O, E, H, A? So the current frequency is two. One, 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 and a zero. I hope that's making sense. So then I'll say if I want to convert it into such a string that the frequency of all these elements is uh, is one, then what I'll have to do? So in that case, I'll have to change this, and I'll have to change this, right? So I'll say okay, the difference is actually two. Although when we'll return the answer, we'll divide it by two because we can actually swap them up. So when we swap them up, uh, it would automatically get divided by two. So for now, I'll say okay. So the difference for this is two, and this is one possibility, and the number of unique cas in it is five, and uh, the per length or the frequency per character is five divided by five. That is equal to one. So this is one of my possibility. Now similarly, I'll check for unique characters equal to ten, unique characters equal to one, and all that stuff, and uh, and I'll be calculating the difference, the unique characters of frequency per length in all of that, uh, in all of that too, right? Now, whichever unique uh, unique character value has the lowest value of differences, I'll be considering that. So now, once I have that, so I'll be having some information. So in this example, I was having the information that my difference is two. And the unique characters I need is five. Also, the frequency per character is one. Right. So what do I do now? So I already have this string that I created earlier, which had sorted frequencies. So in that I have L, E, O, H followed by A, B, C, D up to so on. Right. So all of these I have actually a frequency of zero. It has a frequency one, 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 zero, and this has two. So I'll take two pointers. So the pointers I'll take is for one pointer would be at the last. Let's say this is k, right? One pointer would just to uh, just be at the first element for which I need need to increase the frequency, and the last uh, other pointer would be at the zeroth element. Because I know that this uh, string, the string I had created earlier, was already sorted based on the frequencies. Hence, I know that the frequency for the ith element need to needs to be decreased. If there needs to be any changes, then definitely I am going to decrease the frequency of ith character. For the jth character, if there needs to be any changes, I'll have to increase its frequency. Right? What about the kth character? So, since we are not even considering this string, 
in total hence if any of these alphabets have any uh, any frequencies we'll have to decrease it and make it zero right so i'll start traversing k from here i'll check that if uh, there's a frequency or th is there if there's any element that has a non zero frequency then i'll have to make convert that element to whatever is po being pointed by j because if i do that so let's say i am having a z over here right now what do i want now i'll check if z is present in my string i'll say it's not present then i'll come to y it's not present it's not present so in this case nothing nothing would be present right so it would quit now i'll come to i and j i'll say the frequency at ith character is 2 right so frequency at ith character is 2 the frequency at jth character is 0 right so now since the frequency at ith character is greater than what i needed or it's greater than the frequency per care i decided and frequency at jth character is less than the frequency per care so i can say that just go and replace one of the occurrences of l right with j uh, with the character at j so i'll replace one of the occurrences of l with a so now my string would become l o l a o right so even this would work even if we change the other occurrence of l even that would have worked because we don't need to t uh, tell them the um, smallest lexicographically possible string j we just need to tell them one of the possibilities which has the minimum uh, difference right so even this would work yeah that's it so we'll uh, in each loop we'll increment i to its right we'll decrement j to its left as soon as a i and j become equal that means all of the uh, strings from uh, from i to j or from the location 0 till the number of unique characters has been made valid and we'll return the answer so enough of a theory i guess let's uh, start with the question or let's look at the code so where is the code yeah okay so over here firstly i'm taking the frequencies and the locations so now the locations would is required but because at the end that uh, i told you that i'll be changing any occurrences of a character to uh, to the other character right so in order to do that i need the locations so i'm taking two unordered maps one is for the frequency other is for the locations i'm initializing them then i'm taking a temp now what's the temp now temp is actually the string that i'll be using in order to uh, know that which uh, like which string should be at the ith location which string, uh, which character should be at the jth location which uh, character should be at the kth location and i'll be sorting them up so for those who don't know how to sort this uh, be basic, uh, whenever you use a sort, uh, sort operation you have a possibility of adding a comparator of your own over here i'm using a anonymous function so i'm just saying that a and b should be sorted the character a and b should be sorted in such a fashion that uh, whosoever has a greater frequency should come first so in our case when we were talking of hello so l had a greater frequency l was coming at the zeroth location i hope that's clear after that i'm setting three variables position difference and per cars initially i'm giving them dummy values then i'm talking of the unique characters so my unique characters could, could vary from 1 to 26 right then i'm checking that if my uh, if n modulus unique characters is not equal to 0 then there's no way i can proceed with it so i'll continue over there itself else the number per cars would be n divided by unique cars that's also understandable now what about the changes now changes actually reflect the uh, the amount of swaps i'll need to do or amount uh, or the different indices i would have to change in case i select this these many unique cars so what i know is that if i select these many unique cars uh, i would like to unchange the characters that are present most number of times so i'm using this operation on the temp, temp string because temp string already contains the characters in a way that the frequency of, uh, that the character with the highest frequency is coming first so automatically greedily it makes sense for me to consider only those elements that has a greater frequency right so i'll be considering the characters from zero to unique cars in my final answer so i'll say that the changes for them would be so also these characters should be present uh, like number per cast times because this is the uh, this is the number or this is the frequency of each of those characters that should be available in my answer right so i'll be subtracting them when i'll subtract them i'll get, uh, i'll get to know that how many uh, operation how many swaps are needed for it right what about the remaining characters that are to the right of unique cards so the remaining characters would actually need to have a frequency zero 
so if they have any frequency i'll have to remove it so i'm just assigning changes i to the frequency of them what were the to total changes now so the total changes would be accumulation of all all the changes i need so it's uh, i'm accumulating them after that i'm ch checking that if my total changes over here is less than the to uh, less than the def so def is basically kind of a global variable over here it's out of the scope of uh, this function uh, this for loop actually so this would contain the minimum possibility of differences i can have so if that is true then i'll set my differences to total changes my position to unique cache and my per characters to number of per characters cool enough after that when i am out of the loop i'm checking that if difference was zero so if difference is zero that means uh, the string i originally had itself was balanced so i can proceed with that so in that case i'll just print zero and i'll print the st a string and return even if you don't do that it still find it for, it was just a simple thing to do over here so i did this cool after that i'm taking a result variable initially i'm setting it to s only then i'm taking three pointers i g and k as discussed so i is at 0 j is at position minus 1 and k is at 25 so 25 is basically the last character then i'm checking till the while k is greater than or equal to pos so k is greater than or equal to pos means that uh, i'm standing at the last character and then i'll be traversing uh, i'll be i'll be like decremented decrementing k till the time it reaches pos because up till pos i don't want any character to be there in my final answer so if its frequency is non zero in that case what i can do in that case what i'll be doing is i'll try to get the index of the occurrence of this particular uh, character right i'll change it ch uh, change its value from whatever whatever it had earlier to the value of j cool after that i'll do what's necessary that i'll uh, decrement the frequency of k because i have changed it to j and i'll also have to in increment the frequency of j suppose that i'm okay so if the frequency of uh, k has already become uh, like is already zero in that case i can decrement k and if the frequency of uh, j is now equal to per character then this is fine i can decrement it as well that's what i'm doing over here after that i'll be left with uh, i and j itself so the entire thing that was uh, entire array of characters that was being pointed by k is now having a frequency of 0 so we are fine with that we are just left with i and j we'll perform uh, we'll perform the same operation over there firstly we'll check that if the frequency of the character being pointed by i is equal to per character then it's fine i have to move forward also if the frequency of uh, temp j is equal to per character then that's also fine i'll move backwards else what i'll do is that i definitely know that the element to the left has a greater frequency and the element to the right has a lower frequency than required in that case what i would need to do is that i'll have to take a element from i itself right and i'll have to uh, assign it to j so let's say i was pointing to a and j was pointing to uh, k uh, j was pointing to some b then i have to make some occurrences of a equal to b or in our cases we were having hello right so over here l was point, uh, like i was pointing to l and if you remember j was pointing to a then in that case what we did is we made some occurrences of l equal to a that's exactly what i'm doing over here like i'm decrementing the frequency i'm uh, assign assigning it the value and stuff suppose that i'm i'm returning the answer that is diff divided by 2 now why i'm dividing it by 2 the simple reason is because we are swapping it so in a single swap two operations get performed so if so i said that i wanted to increase the value of uh, in this case i wanted to increase increase the occurrence or decrease the occurrence of l by 1 i also wanted to increase the occurrence of a by 1 right so there were actually two operations but they can uh, both be performed in a single swap hence we need to divide it by 2 and then we'll be returning the final result uh, string So yeah, that's it for the video. Uh, this was a uh, implementation question, so it tends to get boring at times. Mm, yeah, that's that's it. That's it. So if you still have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below, or you could join my Discord server, and we can have a chat over it. Thanks a lot, guys. Keep coding. Stay happy. Bye bye.